Now, one thing I do on my Linux operating system is look at a lot of news. Let me show you guys an easy way to do that from the command line. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys something cool that I found. It's a simple application that allows you to look at the news from the command line. And this application is called Newsboat and it's in most of the Linux repositories out there. So no matter what distribution you're using, you should be able to install this application. And Newsboat is simply a command line based RSS feed. And it's essentially a fork from an application called Newsbotter, which was once one of the top rated news aggregators for Linux. But for some reason, it's not being maintained anymore. And to me, this is an awesome application. And I think you guys should check it out, especially if you read a lot of news like me. Simply, all you have to do is put the links into a text file and then use the application from the command line and it'll bring up all the articles for you uh, within the command line you can read everything you can send links and articles to like other services like book bookmarking scripts it's it just has a whole bunch of options on within the application so let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so we can check out this application get it installed and show you guys how to use it before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the parent company that produced Rocky Linux. Now, Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream, complete binary compatible release using Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the Scent OS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ co all right so before i get it installed i want to show you guys the website it's newsboat.org uh so check it out it's basically the same information that i talked about a little earlier but newsboat is a rss atom feed reader for the text console it is it's an actively maintained fork of news butter and i'm not sure if i'm uh pronouncing that right but whatever uh, the current version is 2.28 uh, and it was released on the 26th of June 2022. So it is being actively, you know, maintained. And then just some information about the different releases. Uh, you can check that out at your leisure. Now, let's hop over to the virtual machine and get this thing installed. And of course, I always have those links down in the description of the video. But we are on Ubuntu 22.04, and I'll show you guys how to install it. And one thing I keep forgetting to do is show you guys how to get it installed on other distributions. I've mainly been using Ubuntu, but if you're using a different distribution, let me go on and show you guys how to get it installed. But simply, all you have to do is type sudo and then dnf if you're using like fedora or fedora based uh distributions uh install and then the package name is news boat boom that's all you have to do is type that in get it installed and if you've been using those different distributions then i'm sure you know how to install it i just wanted to at least show you guys and now also if you run your own pack on uh orch or orch based distributions is simply pacman and then dash capital S and then newsboat as well. Like I said, the the uh, package name is ex the exact same on all distributions. So uh, that's all you gotta do is install it that way. Now, um, we're using Ubuntu, Debian base. So we're gonna use Nyla uh, to get it installed and then install, which you can use apt as well. So only the only difference is with apt, you just type apt uh we're gonna use nyla uh, and if you guys haven't seen that video check that out i believe that's my last video um but you can use nyla as the installer it's like a front end for apps essentially so let's press enter and then type in our pseudo password get this thing installed and then there's also a snap package uh, if you guys want to use that you can use the snap package it's simply uh pseudo snap install and then news bolt so we're going to install it this way though 
press Y for yes, go through the install. It's, it's a quick install. Doesn't have many dependencies or anything. It's actually a dev package. Uh, so it's gonna, you know, just install, simple good to go and it'll update you know as updates come to it uh from the repository as soon as you know uh you want to go through the testing to make sure it's gonna work then they'll put out the new version through their repository now that we got it installed let me clear right fast and let's just type news folks so i can show you guys what it'll show uh, as soon as you run it and right now it doesn't have a configuration you want to run this first uh it'll it'll check where the files are supposed to be within your home directory and you'll at least know where to put the urls at so there's a file called uh under the dot newsboat newsboat uh directory and with that dot in front of it that lets you know it's a hidden directory um and then urls it's a file that you want to edit in there so all we have to do is edit that in order to add our urls so let's go on and open that up now we could just type uh sudo uh nano and then you actually don't have to type sudo because you're you own this this is under your home directory so newsboats and then URLs and this file is actually not created. You have to create it. So just so you guys know, you have to create that file. So sudo nano, and then this is where you can add your um, links at, your RSS links. And let's go down and find us a RSS link right fast. So let's go to Firefox and I'm gonna use something simple. So bleeping computer, boom, press enter. And let me show you guys where to get a RSS feed from if you want to. Uh, a lot of times uh, on most websites, you have to scroll down to the bottom uh, and it's normally down in one of these areas. So, oh, here we go, social and feeds. And that's what you're looking for, RSS feeds. And then um, let's say, let's get the, the news feed. Boom, let's grab that link and scroll on and write that to our file so let's paste that in there and this essentially all you have to do is just add line by line each one of your feeds uh so let's roll with that one right fast Control x to save uh, y and then save that file we get to go now if we run news boats boom it'll show you uh the feeds uh, and then it's a couple options. I just want to show you guys at the bottom. Uh, you got Q for quit, enter to open, uh, next, you know, unread or next unread, uh, reload, reload all, you know, mark uh, as read and mark all as read. So simple way of actually using this thing. Uh, now feed contains no items. I wonder why that's, that's weird. Let me, um, quit right fast and go back into the file and add another feed right fast because that might not that link might not have worked let's see and let's open this back up boom let's go to let's click on it again let's see what what's missing uh nah let's click on virus no let's not grab that and let me go back to the social feeds and typically what you can do is, hold on, start up database, database feeds. So let's just copy this link right fast. Uh, I'm sure that's the link or one of the links that should work or it should show something. Or it says feeds, yeah, there we go. Um, let's actually delete this one off and paste this one in. Press control X, yes, boom. And let's run Newsboat again. I wonder why it's not bringing any. And let's press in for next. Uh, let's reload and press enter. There we go. I had to reload it. Okay. So, and we can go through and actually look at, you know, everything that you want to look at on here that they have listed. So, and you can read your articles from here. Now, this is kind of re weird looking. Let's try to add another one right fast. Oh, and the way to go back is just by hitting the Q button. That'll take you back. Uh, let's go to uh, 20 latest tutorials. Let's go there. Let's grab that link. Copy link. Boom. And let's open up that uh, URLs file again. Control K. We'll delete that line. Let's paste in this other feed. And this is the tutorials feed. So that's that's that should work for what I want. 
boom let's save that and let's run news boat again and reload all right fast there we go boom all right and you can go through the latest 10 articles you know what i'm saying you can mark them as red uh and you can actually read this stuff from the command line which is super dope and then one cool thing about it i don't know if you guys see this down at the bottom uh open in browser all you have to do is hit o and that will open the link in the browser but as you can see it opened it up in the browser directly from the command line which is super cool that's what i meant by you know it following links so that's super cool and then it drops you right back to the application and so let's hit q and just go to another article right fast boom and we can open in the browser as well and then you can hit in that'll you know go to the next article next unread and next unread uh let's quit and there we go so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said that was a simple application that'll allow you to read all your articles from the command line uh it's very simple to add those links in there you know reload the actual application it'll pull in the links for you uh and you can read everything from the command line it's just awesome and one of those things I always like to get people to do uh, when they first start using Linux is not avoid the command line uh, because it's a lot that you could do within the command line and it's not as difficult as people think to use. So hope you guys enjoy the video again. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.